my poor truck look at it it's just covered in dirt it's very cold you may not be able to tell this right now by looking it's sunny you're gonna see some snowy video but as you can see this is a Ford F-150 Lightning it's gonna come on down to the Lightning so I wanted to do a video about range and I wanted to pick a day that it was snowing and it is not snowing today but it has snowed but it is very sunny today so what does this mean so let's turn the camera around here a little bit and let you take a look whoa 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 filming into the sun okay so it is minus 20 right now and i'm not going to be able to film this very long and have to jump inside i've charged the truck up i've got some snow video how does range work on your lightning in the winter well i'm going to show you i'm 100 percent charged right now you might be able to hear it in the background. The truck is warming up. It's not on, but it's warming up. And um, you can do that through the app. The remote does not have a uh, remote start like Fords normally have. This is what the remote looks like. Hopefully you can see it. It doesn't have a remote start, but the app, the Ford Pass app, can start and warm the truck up. And uh, I've used that a couple of times because it's very cold out. And uh, so let's go around and jump into the truck see what's going on on a very snowy cold last ladies and gentlemen yes a little bit of roll of rolling down the highway well it's not a highway it's a side street but damn it we're in a snowstorm a crazy snowstorm november snowstorm and you got an electric truck so what do you do and where do you go and how does it perform well we go down here you can see it's fully charged and it said 325 there, I believe. But gotta make sure I don't drive off the road. Cause filming and driving, not a good thing, son. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a snowstorm. Woo-wee, look at this. Wonderful, minus 20. We're out here in the parking lot, trying to get some filming. And it's not working. Come in from outside, tried to film something, but it's uh, minus 15 degrees Celsius outside. The wind is blowing. We've already had five or six centimeters of snow. There's more snow coming. So how does the lightning do in the snow? Well, let me tell you, you'll lose a lot of range. How much range do you lose? Well, some guy just came around the corner and almost hit me. There we go. Look at that. Crazy people. Well, I'll tell you how much range you lose. When you start this lightning up when it's fully charged in the summertime, you are looking at 500. 500 kilometers of range. That's right. 500. And today, I have uh, driven down to the local Canadian Tire to pick up a brush. I left the house. I had 325. I now have 310. Let's just focus in then on there. 310, okay. And uh, it's snowing. Got the heater going and it is crazy. So what does this mean? So what it, uh, I'm gonna kinda give you a little, I have to go to Annisville, which is 114 kilometers away and I'm gonna leave now. And I'm assuming this is gonna take me probably three hours. The roads are terrible, but I have to go. I have no choice. Uh, there's something that's happening and uh, I have to make it happen. So I'm giving myself four and a half hours to go 100 kilometers. I'm fully charged. Should be able to make it. Am I going to make it? I don't know. Um, who knows? Maybe no one will ever see this because uh, I'll never make it back. So there is a charger in Innisfield that I can use. That's a 50 kilowatt hour charger. So if I'm down to zero, it's gonna take two hours to charge back up. There's no DC fast charger anywhere between here and there. There's just not, that's just how it is. So 500 has turned into 300. I think I'll get the 300, but I don't think so. But I think I will, but I don't think so. But I think I will, I don't know. Well, let's hit the road. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the end of the video. Look at this beautiful sunny day. And I just wanted to recap on what's happened with my range on the F-150 Lightning. And all you people out there probably are wondering, 
that live in San Diego where you never get minus 20 and uh, 80 kilometer an hour winds. Because let me tell you, I made that trek 80 to 100 kilometer an hour winds. Wind chill was unbelievable. The actual temperature outside was minus 20 with the wind chill. It was almost down to minus 35. It was unbelievable. Snowing, blowing, extremely cold. So how did the truck perform? Well, I can tell you right now, driving it is fantastic. Unbelievable. But my 500 kilometers of range, which they tell me this truck can do on the highway, got cut down to 290 kilometers. That's right. I lost... 210 kilometers of range in the snowstorm that is a lot now i don't know what they can do to fix this this is the first generation of the lightning and i gotta tell you i would like to show you all the other electric trucks out there that can compare to it but there are none at least not where i live you can't see one there's not one on the road and they don't have a five and a half book foot box or greater it's not a truck so all you people out there wondering how cold weather works on the Lightning, that's how it works. It's very similar to when I was towing 3,000 kilograms down the road at 110 kilometers an hour. I basically got 290 kilometers. So winter cuts it in, it doesn't cut it in half, but it's very close. So for all you people calculating, you gotta make sure there's chargers. Now, there's a small 50 kilowatt hour charger, right smack dab, not in the middle of my little trek I have to do at least once a week, if not twice or three times. I already have on my truck. I cannot believe this. Let's take a quick look. 17,301 kilometers. 17,000. I, I can't believe I did that much. So the trek I have to do, which is a 400 kilometer approximately round trip, I need this truck to do that. And other than minus 20 and a snowstorm, it can do it. I got lucky, there is a 50 kilowatt hour charger available to me. Um, just on a little bit way back from your round. So 200 out and I gotta come back 200. I'm coming back about 25, there's a charger. If I don't use that charger, I don't have a charger because the DC fast charger at Deerfoot City is in the city of Calgary. So I literally have to make it 90% of the way home. And uh, you're going to do that when it's minus 25 outside? I don't think so. So thanks for tuning in. It's a fantastic truck. If you can get this truck, buy it. But if you live where it gets cold, mark my words. Do not buy the short range. Because I know the company calls it standard range and long range, but it's short range and standard range. This is not a long range vehicle. This is standard. And that's just my opinion. And maybe nobody agrees with me. But thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the future.